Lego is making a massive change to its Genius program. Let's see how this affects your favorite Lego models and also Lego trains designed by fans. The Lego Bricklink designer program has been a dream to many designers since they can upload their projects with the hopes of becoming a real set. Unfortunately, new rules are about to destroy the dreams of many, but wait. There is hope. The Brinklink designer program is a genius idea as many designers that didn't get a chance to become real LEGO sets via ideas could now become an exclusive Brinklink designer set. And we have seen fantastic sets made by some of the best designers. One of the most popular ideas on Brinklink are modulars, you know those giant LEGO buildings that allow you to build a, well, a LEGO city. Well, I have bad news, as it seems as if LEGO doesn't want modulars on the platform anymore. Why? Well, because LEGO claims modulars are part of their own brand. They don't want these fan design models to be confused with real expensive LEGO icons modulars. Many talented designers upload fantastic projects that, frankly, are better than LEGO's own work. Like the Succulent Shop. This model includes a succulent plant store with fantastic window framing done in white and a nice crowning of the building. On the other side we have a fantastic little bakery. The model has a stairway in the middle creating a nice dynamic with the model. The interiors are also great, however LEGO doesn't want these anymore. Let's read the new rules. For Series 6, LEGO states that models may not be based on the following internal LEGO IP. Ninjago, Dreams, Friends, Monkey Kid, and the icons modular format. There's also a weird rule that affects trains. More on that later. They also state that buildings are acceptable to submit to LEGO Brinklink designer program, but they should not reflect the modular format. If a building looks similar to the design language of the icons modular sub theme, row style building, separate floors, etc., it should use a different base technique. Building should also not copy the icons modular base plate layout design language directly. 32 by 32 base plate, sidewalk with lamps, technique connection points. When we review Brinklink design program submissions, we'll ask, could this model be confused as an icons modular building? This is devastating to many LEGO fan designers, and it's also quite sad. In my opinion, I think this is a bad rule that doesn't reflect the dreams of the community. Here's why. LEGO modulars are great because they are, well, modular. You can easily display them however you want and create a LEGO city quite easily. Modulars have basically created a standard. Any LEGO fan can build on top of it. So why lock this standard that's quite flexible to LEGO icons, official models? It seems like a short size decision. Additionally, you are removing one of the reasons most fans support these models and frankly, negating the talent of many designers. Talented designers that specialize in this type of building. Take for instance the shopping center. This is an incredible design model. It includes a great facade that is not ugly or kittish like most malls in real life, but feels like a quaint little galleria. The interior features many shops like a sports shop and a tech store. And if you read the comments, people praise this model for being great, but also for being a modular. So as you can see, LEGO fans want these fan design models because they bring something unique to the table, pun intended. However, don't worry, LEGO fans and LEGO designers. Here's a solution I propose to you. LEGO did state they don't want 32 by 32 base plate, sidewalks with lamp technique connection points. So why not do another standard? This is what I propose. What if instead of a full 32 base plate, we did a quarter of that? LEGO has these plates, very convenient, right? So why not do a mini modular? I designed for my LEGO city such mini modulars. Here's a grocery store, for instance. They are very versatile, but also smaller than a standard modular. So they allow for more pieces to be used on the interior, creating a nice cityscape. You could also do all the detailing and customization you want, just like with modulars. And wall-to-wall -wall buildings have been a standard for cities around the world for centuries, so you are technically not copying LEGO, right? No need for technique connection pins or massive sidewalks. Allow LEGO fans to build their own at home. So instead of lamps, why not other accessories like bike racks, 
or trash cans. The smaller footprint allows you to build with more detail rather than sheer size. It also means a less expensive model so LEGO fans could quickly build a relatively small city that fits anywhere. Do you think this is impossible? Well, I'm not the only one. Check out this listing, Old Quay. It's not a modular, it's a cityscape, so it avoids breaking the rules for Series 6, while creating a fantastic model. But let's see why it's so great in the first place. The model has a nice composition. It starts with the sea. We have a little pier with seasoned fishermen. Then we have a quay, giving a unique character to this model and transporting you to this small town. Then there is a small fish and ship store that has a great exterior, a truly unique color palette we don't often see with LEGO. Then we have this hotel as a centerpiece and focal point for the model. And on the other side there is a diving shop that adds character to this model and creates great storytelling. So this model is special, it feels nostalgic, yet new, and this should be the benchmark for these talented designers that have now been confronted with annoying new rules. So don't lose hope, keep on building and create great mini modulars, or whatever your heart desires. Another model that could work for this other format I'm proposing is the Ice Cream Parlor. Unfortunately, it comes in a 32x32 base plate, so it would not work for Series 6, but don't worry as this design is Series 5, so it could still happen. The design could be easily changed into a smaller standard, a smaller base plate with smaller sidewalks and a detached building. The designer could also do a cityscape with this one. Maybe include a plaza separate from the building as to create a focal point for this model. So this model could easily transition to a new non-modular format. Keep in mind you are also not allowed to use modular in the title anymore. So there goes all the SEO. Okay, but be prepared as the new rules get even more crazy as they can now affect trains. Let's see, Lego says. Avoid highlighting fossil fuels like coal, oil and gas, depicting refineries, fuel storage or gas stations. It's acceptable to showcase historical methods of transportation that rely on fossil fuels, like steam locomotives. Modern vehicles need to adhere to this guideline. Therefore, the proportion method should be ambiguous if it is not sustainable power source. So this could impact modern diesel cargo locomotives or tanker cars. However, I believe this could easily be changed in a Jiffy. How? Well, instead of calling the locomotives diesel, we just don't advertise that fact. And instead of an oil tanker, how about a renewable hydrogen tanker? Designs like this fantastic aquarium building don't have that look. As Lego says, avoid depicting wild animals in zoos, circuses, aquariums or other situations that are designed for human entertainment. Please only show wild animals in their natural habitats. This is crazy guys. I don't know how the designers are going to circumnavigate this, but good luck to them. While these new rooms seem excessive, it's important to not let them block your creativity. Create fantastic new models and incredible building experiences. Speaking of that, be sure to click this video on the screen right now if you want to see more LEGO projects designed by fans.